morning. So the Strambler Cafe Racer is getting delivered today. And my guys have already reached Calcutta yesterday in the afternoon. They got it packed, sent me all the pictures, everything is ready, papers, keys, everything was done. So they left somewhere around uh, 11 p.m. in the night from Calcutta. Right now it's 7.30 a.m. They're going to reach in next 30 minutes or so. And I just needed to, I'm just heading to my studio right now to get my camera gear, audio gear, GoPros, everything set and do this unboxing video. So by the time I reach the studio, it's going to take next five or seven minutes. So I just need to give you a few tips which you need to keep in mind if you are getting your bike shipped from one location to others. So basically, for example, I got my bike, I'm based in Bhubaneswar and I got my bike from Calcutta. So what I normally do is I pay them for the temporary registration. They normally charge somewhere around 10,000 for the temporary registration and I get the insurance done. So I basically get the insurance done, send the insurance papers to them on email. Temporary registration is done, insurance is done, invoice, everything is done, paperwork is ready. So what you need to do is you need to ask those showroom guys to ship one key with the bike and all the papers and the original papers and the second key in courier to your address. So basically one set comes with your guy who is getting the bike and the other set comes in courier. That is the most important thing which you need to keep in mind because while you are getting your bike from one state to other, you need to show all those papers and the invoice, all those GST details to the entry gate officials. If you do not have the papers intact, they are not going to allow you through the entry gate. So those are the two things which you need to keep in mind if you are getting your bike shipped from one state to other state. So yeah, so I'm just reaching my studio right now. I'm gonna get the camera gear and then leave for my warehouse office where we're going to do the unboxing. I just wanted to get this done early morning so there is no rush and I can just reach office, reach the studio, get my stuff done, reach home, then leave for office by 10 a.m. So basically everything is set for the day. I hope I'm going to get time today to edit this video and publish, not sure. But yeah, we're gonna see it. And there are a few other things which you need to keep it ready before you do the unboxing. For example, every time I have to do a bike unboxing of mine, I carry a few things. One huge toolbox because you never know the cage, the crate has some kind of maybe wooden or the metal or yeah. So basically you have to use the toolbox and you will be needing it for sure. Second thing is you need to have the funnel for fueling. Third thing which you need to carry is fuel, at least one or two or three liters of petrol because the showroom do not put fuel in your bike. So you need to carry fuel, put the fuel, reach a fuel station, fill it, then go home. So I guess I got a phone call from my guy. Hello. I guess I'm a fuel customer. Yes, I'm going to go to DLF. Huh. All right, so they have reached Cross Drasulgad. Now coming to my office. I need to hurry. Wait, side off. So, Rastar is hero. And there are three more things which you should not be forgetting your helmet, jacket, and the gloves. <laughs> So I have to reach office, get the bike, ride to home, give the car to my guy, he'll be riding it back to home. So yeah, pretty much set. I normally keep everything ready in a note, like things to be done, things needed, paperwork, fuel, toolbox, everything has to be in place. I cannot afford mistakes. No way. When you're down and you stare at your window, hoping that you'll come up with some words to say.
just took the delivery of this Ducati Scrambler 2018 Cafe Rosso. It's around 8 a.m. right now. Man, it feels just so small and so lightweight. It doesn't even feel like 190 kg. Wow. After riding is 1000, it feels like you're riding a baby. Dude. So, I got a little telepocket. Well, low the coochie. Oh, I love this position of the cafe racer. Wow. But I'm going to miss the quick shifter a lot. I haven't rode a bike without quick shifter since last four years, I guess. The only thing I'm going to miss is the quick shifter because I haven't rode a bike without quick shifter since last four years, I guess. Oh, fuel low, just have to reach the fuel station and fill the fuel, then reach home. The handling is amazing, it looks small, lightweight, and the sound is a bit nimble. Doesn't sound like a dota dota was so nice. It comes with the Tomic Noni pre-installed, so you don't have to install an Acra Pobich or anything else. It's almost ready. Just get the bike, ride, have fun. Love those two mirrors. I always miss those mirrors since my 48 days. It looks so retro. In the city, you cannot go beyond first gear. I'm still riding on the first gear past 5 kilometers. Okay, so we just reached the fuel station, gotta go fill the fuel and then we'll leave for home. So a quad go to loco asana chicken. Rasta gote moniso gote adu. Full. Speed though? Zero. So, I am going to go to the car. I am going to go to the car. How is the car? The position, the handling, the sound. Dude, worth the money. I feel the brakes could have been better, but maybe during the servicing they will get it fixed. Since it's just imported and kept in the box, so maybe that is the reason. I'm facing a bit of braking, but that should be fine using the servicing. Oh, 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 oh. 